Hey guys and welcome back to the final episode of Anycraft and in this episode we'll be doing a little special something we will be touring the whole of Anycraft so first off first off we do have hold on the on the music because the music was annoying Five. First off, we have the spawn with all the rules and regulations and whatnot. And then we have this tower of admin hits at the back, which I don't know what we're thinking of, but yeah. And of course, we have that sign. That sign. This sign. And most, most important, this sign. We have this walk that no one actually used, so yeah so let's head on to the first walk which is first walk which is chemist lolly walk so chemist lolly wasn't actually on for a long time since the start it was on at the start but he was too busy to play Minecraft and the house his house is somewhat incomplete so yeah this is what's left of his house or rather what he has done so far there's a farm at the back and with this secret door with someone and of course the mine shaft and that's pretty much all to this to this house. Um what's in the next walk? Next walk will be the Kawu walk. Now Kawu is a streamer that I've uh, met through this server, so he's a fanatic of cows, hence this two cows so yeah, um, tons of cows here. Um, automatic sheep farm, which still somewhat works. And two cows, which was supposed to be his house, but he got bored of vanilla Minecraft and went into modern Minecraft, which I do have the server IP for, but just not really into modern minecraft stuff yet <clears throat> alright onto this I don't know who's found this this okay don't know who's farm is this but they do have a really good wrong button they do have a really good fishing area here which is actually pretty nice if I would say look at that I can't build something like that. Uh, what's next? The somewhat automatic mob farm, which I'm gonna get down and then punch them. When you get up, get out here. Push them down and do that. We should leave them down. If there are any mods in there, so yeah, onto this, onto this pathway. This pathway is a majestic one, with freaking 
if a if an aquarium at the side to one of Kao's friend's house. Um not sure if this was completed but yeah. It's an upstairs which definitely isn't completed. There's downstairs as well, where do I get down here? Which of course is not completed. All this leads down to their mine. Yeah, definitely leads down to their mine, so yeah. It's not bad. Their builds are way better than mine, of course. I have no sense of um what you call it. No sense of design, so there are wall of cocoa beans and there are tree farm over here. And now we have this which leads to another one of Kawu's friend's house. Nothing much at first. The war of Avengers whatnot automatic fishing auto fishing farm I'll wait till you get up here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> His house This is a damn well done house and this kind of thing, I could definitely not have done it. So of course, the zero tick, um, the zero tick XP pump, which costs lag in the server to be honest. Um, yeah. Now we have another person's house, somewhat incomplete. It's a floating island. It's actually quite nice to be honest. With the water spout, it's obviously incomplete, so that's it. We have this thing here, which I don't know what they were planning to do. Probably a barn of some sort. So, if I'm not mistaken, that's all for the Kawu base. If there's anything else, I'll just go back to it, so... Yeah, okay, on to the next one. Um... Yeah, get this house. Of course, first we have this house, which started off as a very small square house. And he expanded it to become this big. Which is not bad. Be saying that is his that he doesn't play Minecraft much and he has this much this this much of a design. It may be a square box, but the things the designs that are inside is insane. I have to say it's even better than my own house. And there's a villager somewhere here. Oh, uh, his nether portal. Which used to be inside his house. And yeah, his dog, which I wouldn't do this much. This, uh, of course, he doesn't, he didn't connect it all the way now. Whatever. But I'll just put one flat piece of wood and put boards around it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think of this. And onto his farm. Okay, these are bamboo. His farm, which has nothing. Well, there's supposed to be something here, but yeah, there's nothing here currently. The two bad sign, which I created just for him. Uh, oh yes, if I forget. His spare house. Wait, what? Hold on. I swear that this was his spare house here. I bet. 
He converted it into a villager room, I guess. That's great. He doesn't have a spare house now. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the boxing ring thing that we asked him to do. Not really say that we asked him to do. We asked him to do. We asked him to build a an arena, but he built a boxing ring instead. So it's not bad as well, to be honest. So yeah, the boxing arena. We didn't have any fights here. Hopefully, we will re revisit this server in the future <coughs> and do something here, I guess. So that'll be it for the get tea house review. Something, some review of the site. Okay, let's go on to the closer friends of mine, Refcelerator HD. A plain house with nothing much, you can practically see what's inside here. A lot of stuff, a lot of smokers, dragon head. We have a lot of chickens, a lot of cows, and a lot of horses under for what reason. We have a wandering villager and his farm, which is over here. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about this guy. His name is Bill, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I left him there as a present for him. And to be honest, there's nothing much for his house. Um, thick trees, I guess. Two by two thick trees. And yeah, I think that's all. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. His house is pretty plain. If I were to say so, yeah, not bad. Pretty plain. It's simple, plain, and not that bad to be honest. So now let's head on to the CV inside this house. Now this house. It started off as as one level and one basement. He did quite a good job to be honest. From me being here only with this enchantment room to having a furnace room and then going on further to have a storage area and it's all linked up. It's very compact and all linked up. So yeah I liked it. I like this kind of compact arrangement. And of course his bedroom and the final level that he hasn't really done anything to it. Um, probably not in the near future. His um his farm of um horses, llamas, and whatnot. And of course, the first villager that I have helped him to capture with mending. And some fishing area, I guess. Here, <laughs> never really didn't really explore this area because he built it when we weren't where, when there wasn't much people playing Minecraft already. So yeah, his beacons, his train station to the village all the way over there that I helped him do. That was a trip and a half to do, man. Luckily we did it off camera. His farm, his big farm, that supposedly is supposed to have a lot of animals but uh, I killed them all and <laughs> I have yet to put them back but who cares. Server is already dead so his cobblestone farm for whatever reasons that he needed cobblestone for. And his multi-story farm. Now this, this helped a lot. Every single time you go here to take his carrots or whatnot, he'll go back immediately, like almost instantly cause he always AFK, AFKs around this area. So it's 
So it's a good place to get carrots and whatnot. This farm storage area here. Which is not really completed. Like, not really filled up with much stuff. And finally, he's AFK fishing farm. Um, that should be it for now for his area. Um, yeah, if you, why not? You can go visit the village. The second or third village that I found made it into a quite a good area. Although there were many zombie attacks, we managed to keep a few still alive. Two farmers, a few clerics if I'm not mistaken. And a few uh, librarians if I'm not mistaken as well. And this station thing here. Okay. We kind of left it like this because there wasn't any point in building one here. Because no not no one actually visited. I can't believe that villagers always go all the way up here. For whatever reasons, I have no idea. But yeah, this is the whole village. Uh, the whole, the whole trip to get that this um this librarian villager here was a hassle and a half, if I were to say. Okay, so. The last house that we will visit is Uncle Brandy's. This is the last house that I have the coordinates for, or rather, I have set a walk for. His house, the exterior is completed and it's pretty nice, but the interior is not completed. Yes, yeah, not really completed. Here, he has went for. What I can say that it looks like a Japanese house thingy. Yeah, Japanese house thingy. Because of the top, the top two pincer thing, whatever it is supposed to be here. And yeah, there's nothing much here because he wasn't really on for much of the series. He was only really on for. Actually, what's, which episode was it on here? I have no idea, but my house is around that side. But of course, you all do, do, do not want to see my house. As you have seen it for two goddamn many times. So, the last few walks that we'll get to is the enemy walk. Yes, the enemy walk. Let the chunks load for a while. Yeah, the admin walk. We have all the items we give. The fake enchanted sharpness helm book. We have fun finding the other half shulker box. The sharpness 5 throw bow. And of course, the best of all was this protection 5 diamond chest plate that you can't get. Um, this was. Oh, yeah, this is all the uh, admin heads. This is Kami's one stuff, which has nothing. My stuff, which has oh yeah, which has all the random skulls. Oh, and this is this the same. Yeah, this jigsaw block. I have no idea what that is. Um, let's get out here. I'll show you what this does. I usually use this to throw people <laughs> like um Gipsy who doesn't doesn't really know what 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 potion effects are there and whatnot. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Can't remember the times again. Um which other walks are we need to Ken is Ken walk. There's nothing much here to be honest. It's just a walk where cows Kawu and his friends were supposed to go to it to start off their journey but they started off near spawn so well I guess we built this for nothing 
Even the add-on was done properly. The second last walk is the wither walk. It's in the nether. It took us a while to build this big big nest area. Then we fought so many wither skeletons here. Until we managed to get until nine wither skeletons. The amount of stuff that we threw here is insane. Wow, that's a big slide. So yeah, we took a lot of effort in building this whole platform. And it didn't really work out, if I were to say so. <laughs> yeah, the last one is, of course, the Wither Fight. Oh, the... Oh yeah, of course, the Wither Fight. Which was suggested by CP Insiders to build this whole thing. Which at first didn't really work out. Can't really say it did work out, but it somehow did. I don't know to be honest. You guys can tell me if it really worked out or not. So yeah. Um This is the last one before I go to my house. My house Nothing much really. My bedroom, the enchantment room, the nether portal room, the furnace and random blocks room, random 1.14 stuff room I guess. Never really get to use the loom and cartography table. So yeah, I'll try to use them next time if I have a chance to play Minecraft and make a series that is. And is this cat still out here? No wait. I remember I left I made it drop on it somewhere. Okay. The what was supposedly supposed to be the armory. All the armor stands and chests were perfectly laid out but didn't have the materials to make that much armor, so yeah. The map room which I have yet to complete but it's not bad to be honest if I were to say not bad and you go up this is the storage room obviously you guys already know that storage room which has everything we come down here we have the brewing room which I didn't really use much of to be honest go down all the way here the infamous High speed rail that we that we did from here to the CP Sire's house. The mine shaft which I connected up quite recent. And then the villager trading area. Which has two goddamn many librarians. Even though I only placed down three lectures. There is one, two, three, four, wait. One, two, wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 librarians for, from 3 lecterns No idea how they get become librarians but yeah Okay With that We have the horse pen which was supposed to be Supposed to be a bun But that didn't come into plan or at least I didn't have the time to build that. And the underground farm. Auto farms here. The manual farms over here. Speak about it. How many items do we have? We're already AFK here, so we don't have much stuff. Yeah. Um, last but not least, the floating island. Yeah. Around the floating island should be the last one that we have. There was a plan to make a village up here, but the floating island was a bit too small. Hence, I didn't really build a village here. So, yeah, all the times that we spent playing on this server. 
speaking of which, we can really see um, statistics. Trainer with villagers 1827 times. 642 times interactions with crafting table. 116308 one, jumps. 1000 and 1120 times when you talk to villagers. Cartography table 25 times, but I didn't really use it. Stone cutter 41 times. Damage dealt 40,000. Bell song 128, of course. Um, since last rest, 1 hour and 29 hours. Um, items drop 1000. Rates trigger 3 rates. All the mistake rates that we've done. Snake time 7 hours. That's a lot. And what else? What else? What else? What is the total playtime items? Items broke. Broke, crafted, used, picked up. What is this? Birch planks. And dropped. And used a lot of stone bricks, to be honest. That's a lot of stone bricks. That's a lot of quotes that I mine. Oh yeah, for the high speed rail, I forgot. This area took me a long time to learn. Hey, I think I can kill you. The cause was the most obvious. Thing. Mobs. Blaze killed me one time. Creeper killed me one time. Killed one tropical fish. Eh? Player has killed. Oh, okay. Other players. Mm. 58 phantoms killed. I've killed 3 cats since when? Killed one donkey, one elder guardian, one panda. Probably along my admin, admin look around or something like that. Uh, one snow golem, one tropical fish, one villager. Uh, 47 one day. Oh yeah, the, the, the time when I throwed uh, Gipti, one wolf. And I have never killed a player, apparently. Even though I actually did. Um, yeah, I think that's all. This server was a this server was a nice vanilla server to play on, with a few add-ons that makes it still vanilla-ish. So yeah. Yes, this is the last time that I'll be seeing this server and the last time I'll be talking to you guys in Minecraft for now it's been your boy Ryan Kidabex here the last time that I'll be entering this server for now and yeah I'll see you guys sometime soon good bye